my fans? Welcome to Triple THS. I'm the 90s Robert Down Jr. of MMA, Tommy Toho. Today, we'll take a closer look at the biggest fight in the history of the planet, and Vitor goes full Jimmy. Plus, the viewer comment of the week. Stick around to the end of the episode for a badass giveaway from the good folks at Gamma Labs. Let's do this shit! <laughs> Jimmy doesn't like misunderstandings. Back in June, sort of middleweight, sort of light heavyweight contender and ostrich Gegard Basasi took to Twitter to ask for a fight with Vitor Belfort in December. Vitor, who has finally reached his final form, went full third person to tell SureDog that Gegard has nerd to fight with him and that he doesn't like how people use Twitter to ask for fights. Then Vitor took to Twitter to ask Dana for the winner of Silva Weidman. I think. Vitor, have you lost all grip with reality? Why you say these things to Vitor? I beat all the body in the UFC. I beat all that Dana tell me to beat. I don't need to fight this bird, man. He need Jesus. He need to talk to Vitor's hand. Why are you speaking in the third person now? Vitor do what Vitor want. I so sick of this, the Twitter and the MySpace, you know, and the Friendster. People use their computer to get title. They get on their computer and they tweet, 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 tweet. They is a clown. Vitor has the Cheez-Its and the GRT and the head kicks. Vitor don't need to talk about this ostrich. Nobody uses MySpace anymore. How do you see a rematch going with a spider? Vitor gonna lose. My thoughts too. Can you feel it, fight fans? In just a few short days, the spider and that one guy are gonna throw down. Chris Weidman and Anderson Silva have been on a collision course started when the All-American killed Mark Munoz last year, and since then gathered more hype than the Avengers movie. The Spider Goat is the favorite according to Vegas, but according to thousands of fighters who were asked, Weidman's got this thing locked up like Josh Rosenthal. So let's go around the world of MMA and talk Spider slash Super Edgar to find out what people really think will happen. George, who you got? Chris Weidman is going to win this fight. He needs to win this fight. Chris, Chris, please win this fight. Please win this fight so I don't have to have a super fight with Anderson Silva. I would focus on Johnny Hendricks first, George. Stefan, you were Anderson's last opponent. I see you're still recovering from that knee. What does Weidman need to do to win this fight? Well, uh, like you said, I, uh, have lost a, uh, considerable amount of blood and, uh, internal organs, but, um, I'm feeling pretty good now, and, uh, you know, I don't know. I think if, uh, Chris follows his game plan and, uh, brings a bat into the cage or, uh, maybe tries to spit in Anderson's eye like Masked Muscle from Super Punch-Out or maybe some sort of lasso-style device to keep him from moving, I I think Weidman has a legitimate chance. Strong advice. Sensei, I think everybody already knows what you're gonna say here. I mean, come on, you're a bit biased when it comes to Anderson Silva. Not at all. But if you think that Weidman's going to win, then you've been looking into the sun. He's going to be submerged by Anderson. Anderson has a fire down below, deep in his ticker. And that title will remain out of reach for Weidman. Anderson's like an attack force, a mercenary for justice. He's the keeper of the middleweight throne. And unless Weidman has a machete, he'll never be able to Steven Seagal lawman. Now on Reels channel, check your local listings. Get the fuck off my show. Anytime the spider goat fights, talk about who's the greatest of all time comes up. And depending on who has the most recent victory, it's usually between JBJ, GSP, or the spider. There will also be one person in the discussion who will kick your dick into your face for ever considering anyone but Fedor. And if you're arguing at B-dubs, Bork Laser Pre-Diverticulitis. Of course, all these conversations are worth an interim title belt, and unless we lock them all in a room and their primes at the same weight, these arguments are as relevant as James Tony's MMA career. But who gives a shit what we think? Let's ask the goat himself. Chael, what are you doing there? Hey, Trixie, me and Anderson are just having our annual 4th of July barbecue. He cooks the meat, I tell the jokes, and Ed Soares does the dishes. It's the best Independence Day party since Abe Lincoln, George Washington, and Ronald Reagan threw a triple kegger on the White House lawn. Well, good to see you guys getting along. Anderson, are you the greatest fighter of all time? Uh, you know, I ain't gonna, um... I don't fucking care. I expect the John Jones and the tiny France Canada man, but uh, who cares, you know? I fight the fights of my division, the best in the UFC, and the John Jones fight his best. We all the best fighters of all the times. People say, Anderson, what if you know beat Chris Wiener? Nothing, nothing, nothing happened. I only need to beat Chris Wiener one. He have to beat me two times. Listen, Trishel, before you ask another stupid question, how about I show you how a real professional does an interview. I don't. That's great, Tracy. So, Anderson, why have you been able to stay at such a high level for so long? The answer is because I'm a gangster. There are only two people on the planet that can handle me smashing their face in for 25 minutes. One is Anderson Silva and the other doesn't exist. Now, finish making my steak and slap your wife on the ass for me. It's time for the viewer comment. Each week, you send Timmy your true feelings about the show and he pretends they're jokes to keep himself from falling into an alcohol-fueled depression. This week's truest comment comes to us from Rob Mills who said, Your show was worse than the editing of my fight on Fightmaster. 
Richard. Sighs deeply and considers changing his name. Your show sucks worse than Viacom 1010. You hit a new low. Best of luck going forward, Rob. That's Tammy's show. I know it's disappointing, but at least it's over. Tune in next Wednesday when Tommy tries to be funny but fails worse than John Jones at driving Bentleys. Until then, go buy a shirt from Tommy at TripleTHS.com because he clearly can't afford internet fast enough to upload this garbage before midnight. Then take a picture in it and he'll put you on the show like this picture of Dana from the weigh-ins of some alternate universe where Tommy's relevant enough to get that kind of attention. And as a consolation for putting up with this train wreck of a show, Gamma Labs is giving away a bottle of Gamma O, the all-natural testosterone booster. So click on the link in the description that says Triple THS Giveaway. Big thanks to Bruce Buffer and It's Time Industries for sympathizing enough with Tennille to support this travesty, as well as all his friends who don't have the heart to tell him to just give up. For everybody at Triple THS, I'm Chael Sonnen. Kaboom! Well, I guess that's the show. I said kaboom.